my name is Sapin Bharti and we are here at Open Source Summit in Vancouver and today we have with us Anjali from Rocket Software. Uh, Anjali, can you tell us what exactly is Open Mainframe project itself? Mainframe has been around for many years. It is very proprietary and a lot of the code that is written on the mainframe and the tools that are used are proprietary and uh, there is a aging workforce on the mainframe. They are either retiring, they have retired or they may no longer be with us um, and that is because the tools and technologies that are used on the mainframe are old. It's COBOL, it's assembler, and it's technologies people don't want to use. The interfaces are green, you know, there's no touch screen. So Rocket came together with IBM and CA Technologies, and we've open sourced a platform which opens the mainframe to the modern generation. So modern generation of end users, and modern generation of developers and we have provided them <coughs> basically um, an infrastructure where they can build a modern user experience which can be touch screen which is the web interface they are used to uh, using html5 javascript typescript d3 you know tools that they are used to languages that they are used to command line interfaces which again they can script they can use jenkins for their CI CD pipeline and also REST API. So now everything is open and they don't have to know the older technologies. And what that allows um, both end users and developers to do is a newer generation can adopt it and now have access to all the critical data, which is in all these financial and retail and insurance systems, which is still on the mainframe. So the mainframe isn't going away and it is better to bring the new generation to the mainframe, then try to move the critical data elsewhere. So Zoe is that open source project, and it is part of the open mainframe project, and it is the first project ever uh, done on the Z operating system. So when you talk about Z, um, there is Linux on mainframe, but the, most of the critical applications are not on uh, Linux. They are actually on C operating system, which is proprietary. So this project has been built and we have open sourced it on ZOS, the first open source project. And it is targeting the younger generation, really college students, uh, high schoolers. And we are providing them the tools, the languages, um, all the things that they can use and they can believe in um, and bring them in frame to them. So here you're talking about you know kind of workforce, but at the same time, uh, you also need a community around Zoe itself. That is correct. So how are you trying to get the community around it? Our plan is to do hackathons centered around Zoe, so we can invite students and we can invite community people to learn how easy it is to use it. We are working, starting to work with our customers, and this is the combined industry um, to get them more involved.